videos. These are the hills. This is a steep one with a root crossing it. Oh man, chill run it, big root at the end. Oh man, look at this. Oh, another icy hill. So this was a win. Okay, taking the Mud Cruiser XCP 1000R Max Mud Cruiser down Carl's Hill. No one's in front of me. I'm worried the way out's gonna be icy. These cryptic, ITP cryptic mud tires off my Max are uh, not the best in ice in hard conditions. We'll see if I can make it up this hill. So far, so good. Going down wasn't hard at all. And the way out doesn't look too icy. So we'll rev her up here. Let's let her run. These tires are extremely stiff. Like egg tires, they did very well. Very well. So going down Demon's Elbow with the mud tires and, and viewers, friends, trail rangers, you got to get to Demon Run. This, this Demon's Elbow is such a pretty trail, it's not long. Look, look at this view. If you love the woods, if you love the woods, look at this valley looking down into those woods. The, the woods at Demon Run are just beautiful. So make it, if you're a rider, look up Demon Run on the internet, call them up on the phone, get down here and ride. You do not have to join, be a member for a year, although I am and all of my group are. You can pay and ride for the day. They'll let you do that or join the membership, get a day membership for the day, I should say. But this is just, look, there's a little creek down there. It is, look at this hill coming up. Look at this hill. These cryptics claw up. A little harder time with the cryptics, but they'll go up. Just a beautiful place to ride. It's a little more advanced. I don't know that I'd bring beginners down here. In fact, I probably, I don't know if I'd recommend that. Uh, but it's a beautiful place to ride. It just, if you like the woods, uh, half of the reason I do this and others like Don is we like the woods. Gotta get these guys going up this hill. It's just beautiful. That's a steep hill right there with a root on it. Beautiful shot. I hope that comes out, guys. Now we'll take it up this hill. As I said in one of my earlier videos, these are the hills. This is a pipeline. This is a steep one with a root crossing it. Oh, man. Oh, another root. That's a workout. You saw the tire hit the inner fender. So these 30 inch cryptics do rub every once in a while and it's not consistent. Oh, here's another beautiful hill. I gotta get these guys going up. I'll get a little closer. Look at how, look at how diverse the big change in snowfall on these hills from the sunny side of the hill to the back side of the hill. 
look at this shot. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. I didn't want to ride today. I, I stressed out, exhausted. My wife and I have been working hard on our house, having painters come in for five weeks. I was spackling three times a day. In the morning at 4.30, I'd come home at lunch, put a coat on, sand a coat. I'd come home at night, I was doing it. Three times a day, five weeks, doing spots here and there in my house. And we've been moving furniture to make it easier on the painter. And uh, then we had people over Christmas Eve. Then we had my family over, 30 people. Used the whole house, my whole house. They covered the house. We were using it and enjoying it. Look at this. Good group of guys I ride with. Great group of guys, actually. Mikey's leading, Don's behind him, his brother. And then Dave's in front of me. Goose this baby up, she'll run it. It's a monster. She's a monster. So I didn't want to ride. I wasn't up to it. As Mikey would say, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Wasn't. Didn't want to get out of bed this morning at 4.30 to go riding. But I said, I got to do it. This is what I do. Look at this. Look at this view. It's another hill with a cross route on it. I'm going to stand on this. Or stand. And it's nicer standing. This thing's so long. So long, I don't have to worry about it flipping back on me. Oh, another icy hill. Up and down. Let's run her a little faster. She'll run it. Big root at the end. Oh, man, look at this. This is the pipeline. I love it. Could be called the roller coaster, too. Man, I... <laughs> Like this Max, she rides big, which means she's long, she feels he much heavier, wider. Now look at, look at the change here. Look at the change here. Almost no snow. Don and Mikey got Dave and I riding during the winter. We almost bought snowmobiles. <coughs> Last year, I think snowmobiles, snowmobilers got one week in, of riding in the local trails. Look at this. Now we're back to snow. Now we're back to snow. If you look at my machine, I made the mistake of putting day wax on at the trailhead when it was 28 degrees and froze instantly. So I'm not an expert on everything, friends. I'm not an expert on everything, friends. So you can learn from my mistakes. What a beautiful day to ride. Love it. Now we're in snow. Now it deep snow and thicker snow, not ice. These cryptics are nice. We'll, sp we'll spool them up on the snow. Now when you get the ice, they're so hard, they're not the best. <laughs> They've made this machine fun. I now have three machines, two of which I love to ride on the trail. The two Outlanders. Two different style machines. Two different style machines. Look at them go up this hill. Not a long one. Let's run her up. Now I have it at normal, not performance. So I got more selectability in the low end throttle. In performance mode, she just wants to rip. You touch the throttle and she starts screaming, but I got a little more, a little more travel, a little more usable at, at low end engine torque in normal mode, which I prefer. I am going slow today. I feel bad I'm slowing these guys up. They don't care. I'm just enjoying the woods and this machine. This, I 
would say this Outlander is a smoother running machine than my 2019 model. I don't know why. They say it's a software change. Um, this one, if, maybe it's also um, sensory perception. This is a little quieter because of the longer exhaust pipe. So maybe the longer exhaust pipe makes me think that it's smoother because it's somewhat quieter. Both are great machines. Both are great machines. There's a tire rub. They're slowing up for this hill. We had two machines bump each other. They bumped into each other going down a hill. So this is where side-by-sides are not good on days like today. Heed my warning. When you have an ice goes downhill, look at this, ice going downhill. Who would think water, how can it freeze if it's constantly moving? Well, it does on the trail. So we're spacing ourselves out a little more going on the downhills. I didn't even know where they went. What are these guys doing? Should I go join them in the circle? They're going around in circles. I hope you enjoyed this Victory Series ATV winter ride like video. Kids. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. I can't thank you enough for those of you who watch my videos and also subscribe. If you ride off-road, please wear a helmet. And I hope to see you on the trail and I look forward to posting part two of this ride. There goes Don. Oh, he's got these ITP tires on that I had before. Pseudo mud tire, I love those tires. Oh, this doesn't happen. Mikey's stuck. Oh, he might be running in two-wheel drive today. Yeah.